Why would a man who survived a plane crash be sentenced to 20 years in prison? An intriguing question, isn't it? Well, let's rewind the clock a bit. Picture this, an American YouTuber, brimming with excitement, boards his small aircraft. He's ready for another adventure, another story to share with his audience. The engine roars to life and up he goes, soaring into the open skies. The world below him shrinks, a testament to the marvel of human engineering. But, as we all know, life is unpredictable. Out of nowhere the engine sputters, it coughs and wheezes, a mechanical beast gasping for breath. The YouTuber looks at the control panel, dread creeping into his heart. The engine light is flashing, a glaring red beacon of impending doom. His plane is in trouble, he's in trouble. In this moment of crisis our YouTuber is faced with a decision. To stay on the plane and hope for a miracle or to jump off and face the unknown. He chooses the latter. With a deep breath he takes the leap of faith, plunging into the abyss. As he descends he watches his plane, now a rogue missile, hurtle towards a mountain. The collision is deafening, a monstrous explosion of metal and flames. His plane, his pride and joy, is reduced to a pile of twisted wreckage, and yet, amidst the chaos, he feels a rush of relief. He had escaped, he had cheated death, he was alive. His parachute billows above him, a white canvas against the clear blue sky, guiding him safely back to Earth. Once he touches down, he can't help but let out a laugh. It's a laugh of disbelief, of relief, of sheer unadulterated joy. He looks up at the sky then back at the smoldering remains of his plane. He had survived, he was overjoyed, he had escaped certain death. Our YouTuber was ecstatic. He had survived a plane crash and was able to return home to his family. Imagine the overwhelming sense of relief washing over him as he hugged his loved ones, his heart pounding with the joy of being alive. The house was filled with laughter and tears, a mix of emotions that only such a monumental event could inspire. The celebration was like no other, friends and family gathered to share in the joyous occasion, their faces beaming as they clinked glasses in his honor. His survival was a miracle, a second chance at life, and he intended to make the most of it. The warmth of the room was palpable, the air thick with love and gratitude, his homecoming was a testament to his resilience and sheer luck. It was a story he'd tell his grandchildren one day, a testament to the unpredictability of life. Little did he know his survival was about to take a drastically unexpected turn. Five months after the crash, our YouTuber found himself in a very different situation. The jubilation of his miraculous survival had long since faded, replaced by a stark reality that was as unexpected as it was bewildering. He was standing before a judge, head bowed low, engulfed by a silence so profound that it seemed to swallow the entire courtroom. The gavel fell, echoing ominously through the hushed room. The judge's words cut through the silence like a knife. 20 years in prison, he pronounced, his voice steady and devoid of emotion. The room erupted into a gasp of collective shock, a chorus of disbelief. The YouTuber stood frozen, his mind struggling to comprehend the magnitude of what had just transpired. 20 years, two decades, a sentence usually reserved for the most heinous of crimes had been handed down to him. A man who just a few months prior was celebrating his second chance at life, now faced the prospect of spending the best years of his life behind bars. The irony of his situation was not lost on him. As the reality of the sentence began to sink in, the YouTuber's mind raced back to the day of the crash. The panic, the fear, the leap of faith from the malfunctioning plane, the relief of survival. He had been a hero in his own eyes. He had cheated death. And yet, here he was, being treated as a criminal. The question swirled in his mind, each one more perplexing than the last. Why was he being punished? What had he done wrong? Was survival now a crime? He had been a victim of a plane crash, not the perpetrator of a crime. Or so he had thought. The audience too was left in a state of suspense, their minds reeling from the unexpected turn of events. The euphoria of the great escape had been replaced with the bitter taste of a harsh sentence, and the question on everyone's lips was the same as the one echoing in the YouTuber's mind. Why was he sentenced to 20 years in prison for surviving a plane crash? The reason behind the sentence was as shocking as the sentence itself. It wasn't the crash that landed our YouTuber in hot water, but the circumstances leading up to it. As the investigation into the crash unfolded, it was discovered that our daredevil YouTuber had been quite negligent in maintaining his aircraft. It was not a freak accident that caused the engine to fail. Rather, it was a result of poor maintenance and a blatant disregard for safety protocols. The aircraft had not been serviced for a long time, and the engine was in dire need of repair. 
but our YouTuber chose to ignore these warning signs, putting his thrill for adventure over his responsibility as a pilot. But that was not all. It was also discovered that he had violated air traffic rules on the day of the incident. Instead of following the designated flight path he had recklessly chosen to fly over a restricted area. This not only put his life in danger but also posed a risk to others on the ground. And then, there was the environmental damage caused by the crash. When the plane collided with the mountain, it resulted in a forest fire that devastated a large expanse of woodland. Wildlife was displaced, habitats were destroyed, and it took the combined efforts of hundreds of firefighters and volunteers to extinguish the blaze. So, what seemed like a miraculous survival story turned out to be a tale of negligence, irresponsibility, and disregard for the environment. It was these factors that led to the harsh sentence. In the end, the court found our YouTuber guilty on multiple charges, including negligence leading to property damage, violation of air traffic rules, and causing environmental harm. So, our YouTuber survived a plane crash only to be sentenced to 20 years in prison because of his disregard for safety, violation of rules, and the environmental damage he caused. A stark reminder that our actions have consequences, and no amount of fame or thrill can absolve us of our responsibilities. This tale serves as a powerful reminder that every action comes with its consequences. Our story began with an American YouTuber, just an average guy with a small aircraft and a camera. The fateful day he encountered an engine failure, he made a split-second decision to jump, a decision that saved his life yet led to his plane's destruction. His homecoming was a celebration of survival, a testament to the human instinct to live. Yet the wheel of fate was still in motion. Five months later the celebration turned into a nightmare when he was sentenced to 20 years in prison for the plane crash. This turn of events underscores the importance of accountability. It's a stark reminder of the repercussions of our actions, even those made in the heat of the moment. In the end, survival was only the beginning of a much larger ordeal for our YouTuber.